Okay, I had to do this outside everybody, so I wanted to just make this video real quick. And this video is going to be on the difference between the rapture and the second coming. Now, between these both, people often get them confused. They are two separate events. Um, okay, the rapture is... The rapture is when Jesus Christ returns to move the church or all those who believe in Christ from the earth. The rapture is described in 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18 and 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54. Believers who have died, well, their, bo their bodies will be resurrected along with the believers who are still alive and remain on the earth. And we will meet the Lord in the air. This will all occur in a moment and twinkling of an eye. That is the rapture, my dear. Nobody knows the hour or the day. So we must be on, on the watch and we must be praying at all times for this. Okay, the second coming is when Jesus returns with his bride or the church to defeat the Antichrist, to destroy evil, and to set up his millennial kingdom, his 1,000 year millennial kingdom. And the second coming is described in Revelations 19, 11 through 16. Now, here's the importance or the differences between the rapture and the second coming. At the raptures, sorry, at the rapture, believers meet the Lord in the air. First Thessalonians 4:17. And at the second coming, believers will return with the Lord to the earth. Revelation 19:14. And the second coming occurs after the great and the terrible tribulation, which is also known as Jacob's trouble. Revelation chapter 6 through 19. The rapture occurs before the tribulation starts. So believers or the church will be taken out first. First Thessalonians 5 9 and Revelations 3 10. Also, we're not appointed to wrath. The rapture is the removal of believers from the earth as an act of deliverance. First Thessalonians 4 13 and through 17 and 5 9. The second coming includes the removal of unbelievers as an act of judgment. Matthew 24 40 through 41. The rapture will be secret and instant. I believe those who are alive and remain who are watching. Um, they, they won't be caught off guard. But it will be unexpected. I do believe this. I do believe it will be unexpected. Everybody will be going about everyday business as usual. 1 Corinthians 15, 50-54. The second coming will be visible to everyone. Revelations 1, 7, Matthew 24, 29, and 30. And yes, I have also had visions and dreams of both the rapture and the second coming. And I've also had visions and dreams of the tribulation too. Uh, the second coming of Christ will not occur until after other certain, excuse me, after certain other end time events take place. Second Thessalonians 2, 4, Matthew 24, 15 through 30, Revelation 6 through 18, and the rapture is imminent. It could take place at any moment, anytime, anywhere. Very much. Titus 2.13, 1 Thessalonians 4.13 through 18, and 1 Corinthians again 15.50 through 54. Now, why is it important to keep the rapture and the second coming distinct? If the rapture and the second coming are the same event, then believers will have to go through the tribulation. 1 Thessalonians 5.9, Revelations 3.10. If the rapture and the second coming are the same event, then the return of Christ is not imminent. There are many things which must occur before he can return. Matthew 24, 4 through 30. And if you also notice, there's a lot of signs, like signs are everywhere right now for the coming of Christ. In describing the tribulation period, Revelation chapters 6 through 19 nowhere mentions the church. During the tribulation, also called the time of trouble for Jacob, Jeremiah 37, God will again turn his primary attention to Israel. Romans 11, 17-31. The, ra the rapture and the second coming are similar, but they are separate events. Both involve Jesus returning. Both are end time events. However, it is crucially important to recognize the differences. In summary, the rapture is the return of Christ in the clouds to remove all believers from the earth before the time of God's wrath. So we will be taken out before God's wrath is on the earth. The second coming is a return of Christ to the earth with those who believe in Jesus who have gone in the rapture 
his church to bring the tribulation to an end and to defeat the Antichrist and his evil world empire. Now, I guess many, 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 many people get this confused because they say, oh, well, the rapture is not in the Bible, the rapture is not in the Bible. Actually, yes, it is. The rapture is another term for the Greek word rapturo, which means to be caught up or to snatch away. And that's why many, many people are not, they, they, need, they don't know this. We must study this, like the Latin and Greek talk about it, and then it's right, right in the Bible, it's right in Thessalonians, and it's right in Luke, and it's right in Matthew. So we must be aware, and we must pay attention, and watch for the sheep's and clothing as well. Um, I do believe that we are in the season, like I said, I do believe it's any time, literally any time now, as much as we've been seeing going on, it's just getting worse and worse every day, and it's going to continue to get worse. But yes, those who are dead will be raised, and to life when Jesus comes and those who are alive and remain on the earth will meet them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and we shall ever be with the Lord and this shall be before the tribulation occurs yes we're not appointed to wrath the church is not appointed to wrath the church age is almost over so we must be awake we must be watching and we must be prayed up at all times um, just study on this, just study, study more on this. Um, a lot of people don't even believe in the pre-tribulation, which, you know, I understand, but the Bible specifically does talk about a pre-tribulation. It's everywhere. You just gotta look for it, look for it carefully and study it. Um, because church is not appointed to wrath. The church does not go through a tribulation. This is for the unbelievers and Israel and those who have not accepted Jesus as their Messiah. And those who have not truly believed in the Lord. The lukewarm. Okay, I love you all and I'll talk to you guys later and have a good night. And please pray for us too. We got some more storms coming our way this week. Some more severe storms. Um, okay, talk to you all. Bye bye. Love you.